This episode is made possible by Red H Nutrition. Red H Nutrition is your one-stop shop for nutrition and wellness supplements. You can check them out in the show notes. And don't forget to use code RUNLIFTMOM, R-U-N-L-I-F-T-M-O-M, at checkout to save 10%. Also, if you stick around to the end of the episode, you'll hear me interview the owner of Red H Nutrition about one of my favorite products. And as always, I'm a Zaya Active representative, so don't forget to get on my new release Wednesday text message. Yeah, you heard me right. By going to newreleasewednesday.com, put in your phone number, and then you don't have to scroll social media all day come Wednesdays. I'm going to send you my favorite directly to your phone. Welcome to the Run Lift Mom podcast, where we're talking about running, lifting, and momming, not necessarily in that order. And today we are going to cover something that supports your running, lifting, or momming efforts because I know many folks who tune into this show have a passion project or a side business in the health, wellness, and fitness space. Guys, I've got the Instagram expert here to talk to us about Instagram in that specific field. No, really, she's the Instagram expert. That's how she's known on Instagram. Her name is Sue B. Zimmerman. She's got 30 years of business experience, including a seven-figure business at age 22, children's art classes, and selling $5,000 per minute on QVC. This woman is the real deal for entrepreneurs. Today, she is a well-known leader in the Instagram field, and she speaks at universities, social media marketing world, and somehow I got her to be on the Run Lift Mom podcast. You guys listen up as Sue talks to us, those of us in wellness, fitness, health, about how to position ourselves on Instagram, about some of the mistakes that we're making and how we can level up our businesses. Sue B can be found at the Instagram expert. I want you guys to listen up. This is an incredible resource. And without further ado, Sue B Zimmerman. All right, welcome Sue B. Zimmerman to the Run Lift Mom podcast. If people don't know your name, they probably know the Instagram expert. Welcome to Run Lift Mom. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm thrilled to have you here because you're not only an expert or a subject matter expert in Instagram, you're also like a subject matter expert in entrepreneurship. Do you mind giving my listeners, if they're not familiar with you, just a little bit of your background? Sure. Yeah. So I've been an entrepreneur ever since I was 13 and I've had 18 businesses to date. And my first business, which I think you'll appreciate because I do have a degree in nutrition. We talked about this in the green room and I graduated from Simmons College here in Boston and I got a job offer in Virginia and I went. And when I got there, he basically wasn't going to pay me what he said he was. So I'm like, not working for you. I'm going to go do what I love, which at the time was hand painting clothing. And I'm an artist at heart and very creative. And so I started hand painting sneakers and baby covers, uh, diaper covers and hats and overalls. And I had a push cart at the waterside in Norfolk, Virginia. And I ended up turning my little push cart business called Color Me into a million dollar business called Boxer Rebellion because I was hand painting so many boxer shorts. So from (laughs) that, yeah. So from that, I always followed what made me, what gave me the most joy and energy doing the things that I loved. And one business would morph or change into another based on opportunity or trend. And I am someone that really sees Uh, opportunity and trends. And so I just kind of um, took all that I learned from that experience. And I had that business for four years and then I sold it to my business partner and I moved back here to the Boston area and raised my family. So to the listeners, um, even if you have a degree in nutrition, (laughs) I mean, I health and wellness is one of my core values regardless, but um, I just, I followed what felt right 
And it led me here to teaching Instagram because prior to teaching Instagram online for seven years, I did have a shop, a seasonal shop on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. I, I have a home there. I live there in the summer and I ran this shop and then I had started using Instagram to get customers to actually come in and purchase and my sales increased so much so much so that I wanted to teach other business owners how to have that same kind of success. And that was when we only had the feed. And that was when there was only 140 million monthly active users and not over a billion. A lot's changed since, and we can talk about whatever you want in that regard. Yes. I mean, I want to make sure people are hearing you. A billion with a B. In the last decade, Instagram it has just experienced insane growth, and, and Instagram has the engaged users. Now, Sue, I've brought you on specifically to speak to health and wellness and fitness professionals. This is Run, Lift, Mom, and I know for a fact a lot of my listeners are, they've got a side business or a passion project in the Instagram space. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're like me and they sell sports bras. Maybe they're a personal trainer or they lead a nonprofit running group. I don't know what they do. Can you talk to us a little bit just about the trends that you've seen on Instagram with fitness specifically? Yeah, well, you're one of the F's and I'm not talking about F bombs. <laughs> I'm, although I like to drop those too, but I'm talking about food, fashion, and fitness. And those are the three most competitive areas on Instagram. And in order to stand out, it's so important that you infuse yourself into everything that you do. And not just for these three industries, but more so because every other person is telling you, you know, how to eat well or how to, how to dress a certain way or, you know, how to, to exercise and get stronger. I'm all about getting stronger. And so we need your point of view and your credentials around your point of view, like what makes you the go-to authority or expert in your little niche. And so all these listeners need to really think how to niche down even more. So when I say that, it's like, what sex are you mostly talking to? What age group are you mostly talking to? Are you talking to moms or are you talking to moms whose kids have left the nest or are you talking to seniors like who is the audience that you want to be talking to and only only show that kind of information not your kids and I mean unless you can infuse them into the storyline but what I see as so many mistakes that people make is that I'm confused with exactly what your niche is and so I have a lot of coaching clients in my ready set gram pro coaching. It's a 90 day coaching, advanced coaching group. And a lot of them are in the health and wellness space. And so I've worked with them to extract out the thing that makes them the happiest. And so I'll give a couple of examples. Okay. Perfect. So, um, Francie is a plant-based food uh, expert. She's been in this space for a long time. She's a survivor of cancer from 17 years past, and she was really having a hard time uh, defining her niche. And so on Instagram, it's called plant based radiance with an underscore. And so Francie has since fine tuned who she's talking to as an audience, but also with her content. So she's learned from asking questions and reaching out, doing surveys. What is it that they like most about her style and her way of teaching healthy eating habits? plant-based specific. And so the answer that came back to her, it, and she's also a chef, is how easy she makes cooking and showing us how to prepare meals. And so she's leaning into that content strategy and gaining momentum specifically in that niche. And she's doing phenomenal. She now has several IGT uh, videos I'm scrolling through and there's one, two, three, there's like, like 15 and they're great because on IGTV, it's essentially your own TV channel. Mm -hmm. And um, so she's a good example. And then I have another client, Ashley, who is in the autoimmune space. So, so again, you know, health and wellness, I'm saying wellness. So um, Ashley literally helps moms who are dealing with autoimmune um, deficiencies and mm -hmm. she, she teaches people how to thrive 
as someone who has suffered for so many years and with that comes eating healthy and doing exercise and having a lifestyle with as much like tips for reducing stress as possible. Mm -hmm. And so Ashley's called the autoimmune mom underscore both. It's interesting. Both Ashley and Francie have underscores because they probably couldn't get that username. But if you add an underscore, you can have it. So that's a good lesson in and of itself as well. So those are two niche examples of going deep in the passion of life and what they are an expert at a Mm go-to authority at. And the way that I teach Instagram is literally how to show up as the go-to educator, the go-to influencer, the go-to expert, the go-to fitness guru in your little space. And that is what so many people miss the boat on when they're on Instagram. They go way too broad. Okay, so I hear you saying, and we will link these ladies below so people can check them out. I love those specific examples. I hear you, Subi, saying go deep, not wide, if you're in one of those three Fs. Yes, exactly. Wonderful, wonderful. I've got to ask, you know, here we are, we're knocking on 2020 at the time of this recording, and you've got some experts out there saying, oh, especially if you're in those three Fs, Instagram is dead, that ship has sailed. What would you say to that type of critic? Um, It hasn't. I mean, Instagram literally is growing daily for reasons that are to me, obvious, one being that it is the easiest place to consume content and learn and connect with others. So I don't get magazines. I don't watch TV. I go to, I don't look at Yelp. I go to Instagram for everything that I want to look at in my life for creativity, for inspiration, uh, when I travel. And it's literally where people are hanging out. You just need to understand the strategies to get people to notice you and want to connect with you and be a part of your tribe, be a part of your community. As a Ready, Set, Grammar, you know, hashtag RSG community We have almost 20,000 people who have used this hashtag as part of my community from my Ready, Set, Gram um, beginner program. And I teach Instagram from a point of view, not to gain followers and get likes. It's to grow community and make an impact, which ultimately leads to making money. I love that. I love that. And we will link all of these things depending on where people are listening, guys. You can either swipe up depending on the player you're in or you're going to click detail where it's hyperlinked. So um, may I ask, Subi, you know, let's say someone is just starting, right? Like maybe they're starting a side business. It is within that fitness or wellness space. (laughs) Um, Where do you think they should start? Are they defining themselves or are they defining that that ideal client that they want to speak to? I think the very first place that most people need to start is by doing market research and not doing anything except looking at what others are doing in your niche by simply searching keywords or phrases phrases using hashtags and looking what's out there and looking at what and writing down what you like, what you don't like and why. And then going back to what I said earlier, having your point of view and your angle on it, that's going to set you apart from what's already out there. So doing market research can be so valuable. And a lot of people just jump in on Instagram and start and think everything's going to be like unicorns and rainbows. And, and it's not because you don't have a strategy. May I use a personal example? So sure. obviously Run Lift Mom is, I mean, this is my main jam. This is the meat and potatoes, but I also sell activewear um, to support this podcast. And I sold activewear for about six months without doing any market research. I'm talking Lululemon this and Lululemon that. And this is just like the fast and free. This is just like the energy. Do you know most of my customers, I would say about 80% had never worn Lululemon. And here my idiot self was talking about, oh, this is just like the Wonder Under blend. They didn't know what Wonder Unders were. And so it's, it's a great example that really, well, I'll be honest, it stings a little bit for me because I wish someone would have told it to me from the beginning. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have to make sure you know who is listening to you and what they like where they shop, where they travel, what their interests are, what podcasts they listen to, what books they read. And I, you know, I've been in business for a long time and my avatar has shifted, um, you know, from my clothes, my, my businesses, but 
I'm mostly working with women 35 and older who really lead with with legacy and not lead with pushing sales. And so that's who I've always been is, is, is teaching and, and helping and giving and nurturing. And it's amazing when you do that, other people talk about you, then other people talk about you. And on Instagram, they tag you, they mention you in their stories and they, you know, you, you grow organically from the value that you give and the way that you teach and inspire. I mean, the way that we connected is for my the activewear side of my business, um, I lead a team of women, and you very much got a serve then sell mentality, and you have so much great value on your Instagram expert page. I reposted something of yours, um, and that that's how this conversation is happening. So there's a very real example of that give first mentality. Yeah. You, you know, I'm looking back at our DM. So I'm like, how did you find me? And you said, well, there's two, you said there's two ways. I'm a podcaster who listens to someone else's podcast each day. And I've been, I, I get interviewed on about three to four a week, a lot. Uh, it's, it's something I do regularly, but yes, the Instagram direct message literally is my uh, go-to gold place for everything. And we've, you know, we've made hundreds of thousands of dollars from tactics that I teach in my pro program on how to use the DM strategically without selling. I love it. So it was interesting to me in, in coordinating this, you very much, you, you live, you said, Oh, I live on Instagram. This is where I communicate. This is where I do everything. And I love that, that you're really walking the walk in that. Oh yeah. I mean, I walk right. the talk, talk every day. <laughs> A lot of people say they do X, Y, and Z. And then, you know, there's like, you meet them and it's like, wait, I thought you were that person. And <laughs> so yeah. I mean, one of the most common things I get when I speak on stages all over the world is, Oh my God, you really are that fun, spunky Sue B I see on Instagram. I'm like, well, who else would I be? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sue B. So, Tell yeah. me Sue B. So we talked about if somebody is beginning that they want to do some market research first, see who else is out there, really clearly define who they're trying to serve. How about for somebody who's been in it a minute and they're feeling a little bit stale about their business? Do you suggest they begin in the same place? Yeah, I think it's time to shake things up. I am always assessing and looking, looking at insights, looking at engagement, looking at to see what people are doing. And more importantly, thinking about how can I be different? Because mm -hmm. I am so sick of the blogger poses where everyone's like sipping on a cappuccino or it's a, you know, it's a bird's eye view of the table with your hands in a mug, uh, like sipping on a latte or you know, you're at the gym, like the same old selfie poses. It's like, I'm just scrolling. There's nothing that's getting my attention. So if you want to get someone's attention, you need to be extremely different. I think the word extreme is important. So I'm always like, you know, I've got my branded look and feel and I've got my signature styles and I'm just like, how can I continue, continually show up? And for me, it's being on brand in literally every, all my actions and people connect with that energy. And so that force of energy, I, I try to put into everything I do. So I'm not saying to be me, I'm saying to be you, but find that thing and embrace it hard and hug it hard and go and like I said earlier, lean in into that, even if it's so different than what everyone else is doing. Different gets attention. It's a breath of fresh air to hear you say that. You know, I think as women, um, it's hard, right? It's, it's hard to be different, but if I hear you correctly, that's what people are seeking. That's what they're, they're hungry for different. Oh my gosh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. So let me give you an example. Um, let's say, um, you know, we've got an, an Instagrammer. It's somebody building business on Instagram. Um, Sally, she's a personal trainer. She offers online streaming services. Um, in 2020, at the time of this recording, we're knocking on 2020. Um, what type of things do you think she should be focused on? Do you think she should be going hard in Instagram TV? Do you think she should be funneling people only to her website? Where should she, she kind of place her stake? Well, first of all, I want your, all your listeners to make sure they grab my guide, my Instagram strategy guide, subizimmerman.com slash guide, because it is my 2020 strategy guide that will teach you and show you, it's eight pages, what the four neighborhoods of Instagram are and why it's so important to create content in each one. So whatever 
you feel most comfortable doing is what's best for you and not necessarily do this because of the algorithm. Because if you do what's best for you and what you enjoy, you're going to do it consistently. And consistency is everything on Instagram. If you don't show up consistently, you're just going to lose like you're not going to win on Instagram. You're going to lose. So showing up consistently means, okay, so if you do have a blog or a podcast or a YouTube video like I do, you show up and you drop that weekly and you talk about it in your feed and what's in it for them and why they should watch or listen. And then you do stories to help amplify, promote, and broadcast that content that's free that's going to build that trust and people will see you as that go-to authority if you do it well. And then you can amplify that even more like I do every Monday at 3 p.m. EST, I go live and I talk about my YouTube video. I build community, I build engagement, I bring on guests. That helps get more viewers, get some more followers. And I've committed to doing more IGTV videos as well. And if you're gonna do IGTV videos, I strongly suggest that you add captions because most people mm -hmm. are watching videos with it on silent. So if you're not adding captions, you're missing out. In fact, I just posted an IGTV video last week. It has over 5,000 views in four days. So, wow. it, and it has captions. So you want to make sure you have captions. You know, I've heard that advice for stories. Oh, 80% of viewers are silent viewers. But I, I hear you saying that's extending over to IGTV. And so invest in those captions. Oh yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, so wonderful. So that is very helpful. We again, we're going to make this a hyperlink rich show. Also on the runwithmompod.com. We'll have an entire page for this episode. And um, I will link all of your good stuff there. I love that you say consistency. We always say, you know, this is run with mom. So Subi, we talk about everything from running to lifting to motherhood, also the social media stuff. But something we say in every one of those areas is consistency before intensity. It rings true for marathon training. It rings true mm -hmm. for good nutrition and it rings true for social media. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of people get overwhelmed. That's the biggest challenge I hear time overwhelm in staying consistent. And the reason is, is because there's too many distractions that you're letting into your life instead of staying focused on your own task. You're going down rabbit holes in the wrong area. You're probably looking at what everyone else is doing and you're thinking that you're not good enough because they're doing it this way and you're doing it that way. And so I just, you know, I shut down distractions. I shut down negative energy and I just focus on what I need to do to get through a successful day. And a successful day for me is one that does have good nutrition in it because fuel is everything, what you put in your body and making time to get my move on. I'm, I'm walking an hour a day outside and often doing either Peloton in my gym here in the building or a class. And, you know, creative energy comes when you give yourself that kind of white space, I call it, or downtime or distraction from the work that you're committing to for the day. And I get so many great ideas when I do that. And I think a lot of people just are on hamster wheels from one task to the next. And it really does impact the quality of the content. And I say go deeper. And my word mm -hmm. for 2020 is deep. Like I, I, I'm writing it everywhere. Like I'm holding up a cup that I, that I wrote it all over because I'm a crafter, you guys. So um, deep is my word because I want deeper relationships. I want deeper content. I want to go deeper personally in some of my goals and I want to stay focused. And to do that, you just have to go deep, 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 deep. I love it. I, it really does. Um, at the top of this, we said, go deep, not wide as a strategy. And I know that rings true for you personally. Before we get into rapid fire, I want to ask one more thing specifically related to the wellness and fitness space. What do you say to that woman or man out there that's like, man, this is my jam. I'm super passionate about it. I have this niche I want to serve, but I'm not credentialed. I don't have all the alphabet soup behind my name? Do I belong here? What do you say to that person? Well, you need to have credentials. You need to have years of doing what you say you do. You need to have case studies. You need to walk the talk because that is a problem with a lot of people, you know, I'm just going to say this out loud, who lose mm -hmm. weight, lose weight personally, and then 
they think that that makes them the go-to expert in weight loss when they don't have any kind of schooling around it other than a personal experience. And I'm not saying that you can't have an Instagram account based on your personal experience and your journey because I think that's really awesome. But you need to be very upfront with, I personally did this and it worked for me and it might not work for you, but this was what worked for me and here's why and here's what I did and here's why I did it and here's people who I learned from, um, maybe books that you read from experts or others who helped you get that kind of result that you got instead of letting everyone think that you are claiming to be that guru, that expert, when you were more the student that got the results and the expert. Yes. So there's a lot of trust misled there. And so I just want to go back to like being very honest about who you are and why you're claiming to be the person that you're doing what you're doing. For example, I've been teaching Instagram seven years relentlessly seven years on hundreds of stages, 350 YouTube videos, many courses, classes, workshops. And I have customers, thousands and thousands and thousands of customers who are getting results based on what I do and how I teach it. And they become the, the testimonial. So, you know, like I said, you don't have to be talking about yourself as much, mm -hmm. but you need to have success stories and you need to be totally transparent. I, I love this. Any listener of this show knows that I have a master's degree in health promotion and I have the alphabet soup. However, that's not how I serve my audience. I serve my audience. I serve those time starved moms of multiples that are trying to do the side hustle thing. I, I don't serve them on the CF L1 and ACSM and all that kind of stuff. But I appreciate that you say, Subi, that like credentials can also come in the form of testimonials and experience and those hard numbers in a job well done. Thank you. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. And all those little, um, you know, whatever you just said, I have no idea what you just said. And, and that's, <laughs> and that's uh, true for a lot of people. So the other, the other caution to the wind I want to throw at all of you is you need to literally be talking on Instagram as if you're talking to a 10-year-old. Don't assume that everyone understands what your credentials are mm -hmm. because, because that's in your realm, in your world, but to your customer, client, or potential customer, client, they have no idea what those, those acronyms are or those letters those stand for. So you got to mm -hmm. be clear with what that is too. So be clear about who you are, but don't exaggerate anything. Be very clear about where your experience stem from and what you're qualified to be teaching. Exactly. Love it. Love it. All right. I'm going to take you through some very quick rapid fire to wrap this up. Can you tell me, uh, Subi, what's your favorite book to gift? Oh gosh, I have so many favorite books that I gift. Um, and I just got Amy Landinos, who I'm going to be interviewing very soon. It's called Good Morning, Good Life. And this is so good for you if having, um, if you struggle with productivity and you need to reform some good habits specifically in the morning when it kind of sets the tone for the whole day. So if you have a good morning routine, uh, you can really keep that energy going throughout the day. And Amy's a dear friend of mine and this book is gold. So I recommend that. Awesome. We will definitely link that. Tell me in addition to Instagram, a couple of your favorite apps on your phone. Wow. Um, Uber for sure, because I'm constantly on the go. <laughs> um, let's see. I have so many. Um, oh, I love my voice memo. I know it comes on the iPhone, but I'm constantly doing Instagram audits, saving it, sharing it into Slack. So that that's actually a feature, not specifically an app. Um, what other ones do I open on the daily, guys? Oh, my activity. Oh, that's on my watch. Um, I'm looking at, always looking at my activity. I also use um, Blue Apron. My husband and I order from Blue Apron. We are definitely um, into conveniences, any kind of conveniences in life. So that one's there. And in my building here in Boston, I have an app. It's called MBT Flex. Like I can literally log into my workouts on my phone. There's an app to go to my gym classes. So I would say like, that's the first app I open up every day to see what class it is that day. And then I can just book it right from my phone. Um, so that's exclusive to my building, but I just want to say that out loud because, you know, again, this goes back to like conditioning your mind to having the tools that help you execute the way you need to 
um, be productive. And for me, it's literally um, going into the app and committing to that workout that we talked about. I don't do any food journaling because that you just start thinking about food all day and then your head gets all messed up. I just think about what's the healthiest whole food I can be eating. So I don't track any of my food. I do commit to exercise. I have my team and I are on the Apple Watch activity every day kind of competing with each other. So there's that going on. And in terms of productivity for my business, Slack is my number one app on my phone that gets the most use because my team and I are slacking all day. And then Trello, we have Trello boards. So those two for sure. And then Zoom, like we're on right here. But if I can't get on the computer, I'll get on my phone and I'll do a lot of Zoom calls there. So that's more than, <laughs> I mean, that's just three, four or five, but that's kind of the life of Subi. I love it though, but you're, you're giving us a lot of hints at how you stay as productive as you do and share so much value with us. Sue B, I am going to make this so link heavy. It's insane. I want to thank you very much for giving your expertise, for serving my audience, many of whom are on Instagram serving their audiences. Awesome. Can I give them a challenge? Yeah, please. All right, you guys. So uh, every time I do a podcast interview, I'm like, wait, I need to meet you guys. If you're listening to this podcast, I need to know who you are. So I invite you to come on over to the Instagram expert and say hello to me. Yes, my name is Sue B. Say hello in the comments and make sure that you at mention Suzanne um, at runfit.mom. She put a dot in there. That was clever. And so she sees it. If she gets that at mention, I get to meet you. I get to come say hello to you. Check out your niche. Check out what you do. And the truth is community is everything. And the more that you connect with awesome people on Instagram, the more your mindset will stay focused on good energy with good people. And we'll get all those spammy comments and like spammy DMs like off of Instagram and we'll just it will just be a happier place so I've got this movement going in the next decade which is like let's just connect with as many awesome people as possible I love it. You guys heard um, at, at the Instagram expert and then also runlift.mom. I've got to tell you, Subi, my original Instagram name 18 months ago, it was runlift and then I, I used the brand. You know, I mentioned selling sports bras. I branded myself as the company. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Why did I do that? So anyway, I learned six months in, but by then I had to put the dot in there. It was already taken. Um, had I had you in my life, I would have known not to brand myself with the company. That's so oh, funny. Well. well, you know, hey, we're all, life, we're all lifelong learners and that's how you grow and that's how you keep moving into a new chapter in your life. So yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Subi. I really appreciate it. And um, we'll definitely follow up and we will connect communities. Sounds great. Thanks. Thank you. Wow. Whether you provide a service like coaching or personal training or sell a tangible good like leggings or supplements, I know you guys can use these tips from Subi. Subi, thank you so much for coming and speaking directly to those of us who are in the space of health wellness, and fitness. This is absolutely a game changer. And guys, I want you to connect with Subi at the Instagram expert on, well, spoiler alert, Instagram. That's right. That's at the Instagram expert. You can also find her at subizimmerman.com. She's got a lot of great educational courses and free tips on mostly Instagram, but as well as her website. Thanks again, Subi. Until I get into your earpiece again, remember, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. That's from 1 Timothy 4.8, and this has been the Run Lift Mom Podcast. Hey y'all, if this podcast isn't enough for you, if you are picking up what Sue B is putting down, I want to direct you to her free training about Instagram. What you're going to do is go to suebzimmerman.com slash three keys. It's suebzimmerman.com and then slash the number three keys, K-E-Y-S. This is a free Instagram training. It will help you level up. Get on it.
for everyone listening, just first and foremost on Instagram, on the daily, the Instagram expert, my stories, my feed, my IGTVs are all about helping you as best as I can. And then on YouTube, suvizimmerman.com slash YouTube, I upload a new video every Monday and there's over 350 videos where you can learn micro content for free. If you're looking to just collapse time and get your Insta game going in 2020, the course Ready, Set, Cram that she's referring to, subizimmerman.com slash RSG is my signature course. And if you want to go through an hour training of understanding my top three um, visual like my top three keys and my visual secrets of doing Instagram, you can get on an hour free training, subizimmerman.com slash three keys. So lots of cool. free out there for you if you don't have the money to invest. And if you want to be a part of my community and invest, it, it literally, my course, we update it every year. All right, I've got Katie Danger with Red H Nutrition. Katie, you know I am a runner first and foremost. I'm doing anywhere from 20 to 40 miles per week. I'm closer to 40 than I am 30. Tell me about Superflexi. Superflexi is great for anybody who is active, has a few aches and pains in their joint and tissues, and wants to combat that with a all-in-one full-strength joint and tissue support. It's got turmeric, it's got glucosamine and chondroitin, it's got collagen type 2. So what you're looking at here is a full and total spectrum support for any inflammation you have with your joints and tissues. It's going to help you improve your range of motion and you're going to just feel better doing what you love. Ah, so if I'm understanding you correctly, you don't have to be a runner to benefit from Superflexi. No, it doesn't matter what you do. In fact, even if you only work out three times a day, like cardio, maybe you're just a walker, if you want to feel better and you want your joints and tissues to move the way you want them to, Superflexi is essential. Bulls. Hey, Run Lift Mom listeners. You know I'm the mom of four kids under age five, and therefore, I am always looking for ways to work smart, not hard. Anchor is the smartest way to make a podcast. Let me tell you why. First of all, there are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, but Anchor will also distribute your podcast for you, so then it can be heard on places like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and a whole lot more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It is quite literally everything you need all in one place, and y'all, it's free. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Thank you for listening to the Run Lift Mom podcast. This began as a passion project in February of 2019. I wanted to uplift other women in the areas of running, lifting, and motherhood. Here's what's happened. I've not only personally been uplifted, I have been blessed by the relationships with guests on this show, by the relationships with listeners of this show. Thank you so much for helping me continue this passion project. Here's how you can help even more, and it will take you less than 10 seconds, dear listener. I want you to rate, review, and subscribe. Rate, review, and subscribe. It really, really helps other people find the show, and it keeps my show sponsors happy. Guys, I'm thrilled to announce a new partner on Run Lift Mom, and that is Audible. I've been an Audible member for over 10 years, and my favorite part, hands down, it's the gift of time. I use the free app to take notes as I'm doing my long run and I hear something fantastic, and you are going to love it. If you want to try Audible free, visit audibletrial.com slash runliftmom. That's R-U-N-L-I-F-T-M-O-M. Again, for a free trial, visit audibletrial.com slash runliftmom.